today we'll be learning um, the French composer Leo de Leaves, uh, Bals Lente. It's from his ballet Coppelia, and he was a French composer from Romantic era that was famous for his ballets and operas. So this is a keyboard adaptation in the key of C major. The original ballet is in the key of E flat major. It's in four part form and there's a repeating A part. So the uh, it's going to be A for the first 32 measures and then it will be B starting at measure 33 and then it has a return to A and it's an exact repetition of it starting from measure 61 and there is a C, um, C section that ends to piece. So more of a climactic, it's marked pio animato, which means it's gonna be a lot faster. And that starts at pickup to measure 93. The whole thing is, let me see, one, um, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, measures long. Let's take a look at the first part first. And I usually recommend practicing um, waltzes in four different ways. So first, well, before you do anything, you should try to side read through the entire piece, kind of struggling through, and then uh, divide it up to uh, more of a smaller parts, right? So this is after you've already kind of side read through it. Even if it sounds terrible, try to read with both hands and kind of just read through. So after that, let's take a look at the, just the first part, which is the first 32 measures. And even that um, A section divides into two different parts of um, 16 measures each. So one way to practice the first way is left hand alone with pedal. And for this one, I would probably do, depending on your acoustic situation, the funny thing about pedaling is how you play and the kind of space you're in really determines um, the way you pedal. So it's not a definitive way, but for most waltzes, it's um, safe to do kind of a one um, pedal per measure. But you have to play the second beat. Notice how unlike the typical waltz, which would have three kind of this Papa um papa pattern. This one only has one, two, rest, one, two, rest. But we'll still try to do it with uh, one pedal per measure. But be really light on these chords that we play throughout. Um, so it's still the um papa, which is down, up, up pattern, is still there in the left hand. And it's gonna be more on the bass and then quieter on the chord. So let's try reading through just the left hand with pedal. Uh, fortunately for us, there's only really two chords to keep track of in this uh, first 16 measures. So we have a C major in various inversions. Okay, and then we have G7. So this whole thing is in the key of C major. So that's five, seven, and the one chord in two different ways. So let's try reading the left hand. We'll do it. It says tempo di waltz, waltz, and in the actual ballet, it's quite fast, but we'll do it nice and slow for now. One, ready, go. Left hand. One, down, up. Two, one. left hand with pedal and the second thing you can do is um, right hand but instead of just doing right hand only I like to add um, the bass 
So the first beat of every measure, I'm going to add to the right hand line. It helps me see how well, each bass jumps from measure to measure, and also how the bass notes go, go um, link musically from measure to measure. And if you take a look at uh, my little analysis that we did in class, is basically four measures. The first four measures is a one short little phrase, and then it's that short little phrase repeated. So we call that BI stands for basic idea and then basic idea prime as in it's repeated but with a slight variation and then eight ma measures of continuation. So this is a musical sentence structure and that's how this beginning sounds so balanced. Okay, so let's try reading the right hand and with the left hand bass. Ready? One, two, three, and one, two, three. Oh, sorry, just the bass. Look at me. Reading. Two, and the, the slur is always tapered off. And you can hold the bass no longer for this. phrasing works with the right hand. So we have, they're all within the piano, but you don't want to make it sound all the same, right? So we have basic idea. And then second one, you can decide to play louder. Or you can do the second one softer. continuation start louder whatever you do and then slightly less and then we're gonna build back up with the accents D, A, and e. yeah. so there is a slight natural crescendo going like that all right and then the third way is play everything um, except don't do the pedal, right? So we're just adding one by one. Okay, so let's try the third way. I'm gonna play really listening to the legato and things like that, but not um, everything together. One, two, three, and one. Staccato with this slur means that they're longer staccatos. So don't make those staccatos too short. And then continuation, remember we're gonna be a little louder. And softer. times or even 10 times depending on what your reading level is right and then now the finally the fourth step is you put it all together so now I'm gonna still keep the slower tempo but add pedal to the everything okay starts on the third beat leading into that C one two three and one And that creates 
kind of organically flow together. And the last little core thing, even though uh, we are doing a crescendo through it all, you have to end that softer at uh, measure 16. All right, let's take a look at the next part of um, the A section. It starts exactly the same way. Yeah. So we have we heard this before. Now slightly different. Notice there's ties in the uh, no not ties, the slurs. I will do probably two on that G of what is that? Measure 20 and then one to, so I can physically connect to A. So put number fingering number two on this G, and then to A minor and D minor. One, two, three. One, two. Uh, look at the left hand. Interesting how in measure twenty four, the first one's short and the second one's long. So the least probably wanted that second one slightly emphasized right there. Okay, I know it's kind of hard to see. Uh, hopefully you're following along with your own music. Okay, all right. Let's try again, starting from pick up to measure seventeen. Have it. 
So this is actually part one and three of this piece. So once you have this done, it means you know half the piece. All right.